Morning guys and welcome to vlog number 8 of my Rise Up series and today I'm going to bring you along on my day as I get some exciting but pretty scary news. Right now we are heading to my favorite park to do our morning run and then on my way to my chiropractor I actually had a phone call with my thyroid doctor. My blood work is getting red and I looked over it last night and it's not the best looking blood work I've ever seen so when we go over it I'm going to show you guys what's going on with me figure out what our next plan of attack is <sighs> I don't know I stayed up really late last night um, just thinking about it and watching a lot of videos and I don't know what this is going to mean for like my competing um, this year or just kind of like what I'm going to have to do and what's actually wrong with me so I guess I'll find out more soon but I'm going to bring you guys along so Let's go. Favorite part about Florida, all the state parks, and how freaking beautiful they are. Oh, all right, so we are about to do our three mile run walk, hopefully more of a run, but gotta just feel out the body, these old bones, uh, they need some help sometimes. But after figuring out that I have my thyroid and my hormones messed up, it makes sense that I'm having so much uh, joint problems, right? It's not my body. <laughs> it's inflammation. So, well, it is my body, but anyway, we're about to run. You'll see me after this. Peace. So the thyroid, I'll be on that medication, and you're going to put it to the high dose. Well, I, I have to speak to you and ask you some questions on how high. We're not going to be where we need to be. Meaning, uh, what I'm going to ask you is, are you sensitive to caffeine, cold medicine? I'm not going to start you at the lowest dose, or the second lowest dose, which is what most would do, especially with any sensitivities. I'd start you more with a, a moderate dose, but we, we just couldn't go too high right off the bat because you could start getting you know, rapid heart rates, nervousness, shakes, and things like that. Yeah. The it, and then we got to, you know, you, you just wasted that medicine and you got to go backwards. What you can do is, like I said, you can take the releasing hormones um, try to restart the body. Uh, that can take, you know, I would say minimum of three months as long as six months if you want to try it. If, if you hit the six month point and we're still not seeing anything, um, you know, that's, you know, unfortunately that's kind of at that point. Uh, as long as you've already been and now another six months of me full blown stimulating you and it's still not happening, that, that would be another worst case scenario of you, you have to use hormones. Forever. Yeah, they're, they're, it, it, at this, the, the, as there's. Yesterday, I ended up not recording what was happening. Um, I ended up getting the phone call from my doctor at 9.45, and I was on the phone with him for over an hour. Long story short, actually, we're not going short. We're going all in. So this is how it went. Checked in with you guys when I got done with the park. I got my phone call at 9.45 in the morning and as you saw, like, there are some snippets and a lot is going on with my health right now. And unfortunately, it definitely, <laughs> it means I have to make changes in not just like my life, but my competing life and like just kind of what some of my goals are right now at the moment. Now, looking at the bright side, I now have answers, so it's a blessing and a curse. Like, I now know that I have all the worst case scenario situations. It's also a blessing because now I know how I can get better and fix myself and overcome some of the struggles that I've been facing for so many years. It also makes me feel a little bit more at ease. Like, I don't know, like, even today so far with my physique, I almost feel like I'm holding less bloat and, and stress. And I didn't even notice I was, I mean, I knew I was bad, but like, I didn't realize maybe how much mental stress I was holding on to these last few weeks knowing that my blood results were coming and if I was going to be okay. And then also I'm looking at it as a learning opportunity, you know. I am a coach and I love to learn so I think I'm just going to learn as much as I can about this and maybe one day be able to coach and help other people through a similar situation that I've been through because um, it does feel at times like you're really alone 
and that like you're kind of going crazy. Going into the story and then I want to talk about the symptoms that I had. So I get on the phone with him and he's just like, all right, I'm going to cut to the chase. I have to say flat out, quote unquote, you are the worst case I've ever seen at someone your age in my entire life. And he's like, let's like just talk about the thyroid first. So we got the panel for that back and your T3 and T4 completely off. Um, pull it up. Okay, so looking at my, my T4 and my T3, I have a low T3 and my T4 was extremely low. Um, I don't really have any good levels of that and my TPO was extremely high. If you guys want to know, I'll put the amounts right here on the screen of what they actually were. So with all that being said, what those readings mean is that I have a autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's and this is a genetic disorder that attack, attacks the autoimmune functions. So I have a thyroid still, obviously, but it's not producing anything and what's happening is, is my body's antibodies and immune system is attacking my thyroid. I pretty much need to start producing my like hormones from my thyroid. The only way to do that with Hashimoto's is to take medication. So I'm taking what they call Levoxythroxin, or I'm about to, and I have to take that for the rest of my life. And the more details I know about this, the better. So I'm going to start researching uh, the crap out of it. I already have, but I just want to make sure I fully understand it before I explain it all to you guys. But I have to be on medication for the rest of my life, which is probably biggest pill I had to swallow and it's not covered by insurance so it's not going to be an easy or a cheap um, thing to deal with for the rest of my life. So that's kind of upsetting. Um, I definitely live the I want to be <laughs> drug free life and just you know be able to heal holistically but with Hashimoto's like you don't really have an option like you need to be on medicine. So now that I know that my uh, thyroid is really bad. He referred to me as a 65 year old or 70 year old grandma. I was like, well that's great. Worst case scenario, I have an autoimmune disorder and I'm not doing very well. Um, what else could be wrong? And he goes, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it again. Your hormones are extremely poor. He's like, just to put it in relation to how old I would think you were if I was if I didn't know your age and I would say that this has to be a 75 year old grandma that's way past her menopausal age. Reading my stuff I have zero estrogen, zero progesterone and um, zero testosterone being produced so he said that none of my hormones are functioning and producing right now. He said my, my, so my testosterone is five and he was saying that the average female that's in the competition world that I am is like normally 75, 125, I'm a five. I'm like not even on a scale. He's like, my readings are like negative readings practically. He's like, you don't produce any at all. So like not only am I at the worst end of the spectrum on my thyroid being like extremely bad, like completely non-functioning, same thing's happening with my thyroid right now. Or I mean my hormones right now. and. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I was expecting maybe some issues because I have been experiencing symptoms, which I'm going to cover here after this, um, that would point to issues. But he said that there's two ways to go. I can use a synthetic hormone and take it forever because my body's never going to naturally produce it, or I can try to get my body to naturally produce it by taking natural supplement or. Uh, steroids um, to get it going so I'm going to be on hormonal replacement and you know he liked to sneak in the fact that I have to shoot that up and I have to start taking HCG 
and um, shooting that up so that's cool um, but then we're hoping that after four to six months my body will naturally start producing something even if it's just a little bit of progesterone or estrogen and then that way instead of having to take a fake hormone for the rest of my life I can at least regulate mine back to a healthy-ish level naturally and then I don't have to worry about my hormones but if that doesn't work then I have to jump on a real hormonal replacement for the rest of my life um, and that was a kind of a hard pill to swallow too so that kind of messed me up he referred to me as a miracle he said that he has never seen readings like mine and seen that people can still function not be 300 pounds not living in their closet crying all day and depressed and hating their life like he said that I'm either a genetic freak or my mindset is and my work ethic so high that like I push past it but like long, like regardless like I don't really know what the hell it is but I know something's wrong with me and I like I'm just really enthused to see the improvements that I can make while being treated and fixing these type of things so that's keeping me really not too upset right now even though I am pretty upset yesterday when I left y'all I went to the chiropractor and I just started crying uh, they had to put me in a separate room and talk to me and I, I think after that I kind of just I got a lot of really nice messages from y'all and it really helped brighten my day and I didn't feel alone like um, there are quite a few competitors that have Hashimoto's so yes I'm still gonna be able to compete um, it seems like I'm not competing in the summer I'm not comp competing in the fall but come winter or spring I will be back so it looks like I'll be an early 2021 competitor this year next year don't worry you'll see me back on stage I'm not giving up and honestly this gives me more motivation just to push even harder and just to do better because I was working with no functioning thyroid or hormones and still placing top 10 at shows top 5 at shows and still holding on to muscle somehow so that's crazy but it's also exciting um, I'm I'm actually pretty sad I'm, I'm not gonna lie like I should be competing next month and instead you know with the whole coronavirus it's making it easier I would have had to postpone but at the end of the day I don't get to compete this year and I don't get to try for my goal of becoming an Olympian for the first time so it's another thing that kind of sucks but on the flip side um, I get to enjoy my life competition free for the first time since 2016 or 2015 so that's kind of cool my body just really needed the rest and this is gonna force me to do it so yeah I did want to dive into some of the symptoms a lot of you guys have been reaching out saying that you've been experiencing similar symptoms and so the main symptoms that I've been experiencing that I can just say off the bat is fatigue I'm always tired I'm always waking up rushing I'm always out of time I'm always exhausted and even whenever I'm at the gym I'm tired when I'm outside I'm tired when I'm doing my first career I'm tired I mean I'm exhausted right now like I I don't know if I look tired, I kind, kind of do, but like I'm exhausted. Everything's hard and on some days things are so hard that I do want to be that 300 pound person just crying in their closet because like my emotions uh, get really messed up and um, that's a huge sign of you know issues with your hormones and your thyroid but like my mood swings are messed up. I get. I can't sleep at night I have like cold sweats hot sweats um, I get very flustered there's just so many weird emotions like I can't control like my anger and my moodiness sometimes like I just snap or I'll say things that I don't mean especially to like Michael like you know not normally to other people but it's just not me and I'm like why am I so angry what is wrong with me um, I have a zero sex drive like I don't want to have sex I haven't had a period um, regularly since 2017 or 16 and I only get it during my off seasons which I thought was normal it is for some women but I think what should have set a red flag off even earlier than now was when I didn't get my period back this off season and I got up 20 pounds above my stage weight maybe 25 and I've taken eight months off like my period should have started so nothing's jump-starting at this point and he knows that and that's why I have to get on 
um, something to jumpstart my hormones. I've also been experiencing um, really bad digestion and bloating. Like I'm going to show you guys really quick. I know you've been following my story. Uh, you've been seeing it. But this is like a good day. This is one of the best days I've had in a couple weeks. And this is only after one meal. This is me sucking in. See that? Not only is my digestion really bad, um, I'm not as hungry, so my, my, my hunger levels keep going up and down. Um, I cannot necessarily handle alcohol easily at all. I get a hangover after like one or two glasses and it's a severe one. I cannot eat simple sugars without my muscles feeling really full and hurting and I get headaches from it. Uh, that comes down to just not being able to metabolize it. <laughs> And I also have um, my weight was messed up. So over this winter, this is when I should have really noticed it, was right before I started prep. I put on about 10 pounds in a couple months and I was following my plan really well. Like for the most part, I'd have one or two cheat meals a week and I would drink once a week. And I was putting on over a, almost a pound a week, like boom, 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 boom. And I was like, what am I doing? Like, I'm not even eating that bad. I'm eating like normal food. I'm working out. Like I'm following my plan really, really well. Like I shouldn't be putting on weight like this, like maybe a pound or something in a month, not, not four. And so I was started my cut, as you guys know, back in February and around March, halfway through March, I hit a freaking wall. And that's whenever my weight went from 133 guys, it's been going up by about a pound every single week. I am 138 to 140 pounds every morning I wake up. And I do know that some of that's from water weight and from my digestive tract and bloating, but I've been putting on weight and I am doing more cardio. I'm eating less. Anyway, long story short, guys, I'm really messed up right now. I have the worst readings that my doctor has ever seen in my age group and he's surprised that I'm functioning. So I'm very grateful for the fact that I'm responding the way I am and I'm not in like a hole crying somewhere. But I'm also really concerned that this is this is like really important. Like I might never be able to produce hormones naturally again in my life. I might never be able to have children naturally without a bunch of extra help. I mean, shit, I might not even be able to have children. Like, my ovaries could be shriveled up right now. Like, uh, on top of that, like, I don't know how to adjust my metabolism correctly. Also, if you have been going through anything similar to this, please reach out to me. Let me know how you're feeling. Maybe I can guide you somewhere because there's so many other issues besides thyroid and hormone. There's a plethora of things like that could be going wrong with you. Um, and why you don't feel normal. I would say that my biggest lesson of this is to not fear the results. I sorry my uh, Cameras died like three times on me. So gotta get better at charging my batteries Note to self um, Looking back on it. There were so many warning signs um, I just didn't want to face the truth really um, I think it came down to that and it also came down to my body not actually responding as bad as I feel like it should have been. Um, like I always thought maybe your kit, your symptoms had to be a lot more extreme or there's no way I could compete and not have a thyroid, you know, I don't have an autoimmune disease, that's crazy. And at the end of the day, I was wrong. I just I want to be able to bring awareness and help people where I can with this and if you guys need to reach out or have someone to talk to, I'm here for you. Um, I hope that I can put you in the right direction and I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to try to make like a little vlog series out of this because I feel like it's really important and I want to bring light to a serious condition. I was reading some of the statistics and it's pretty insane how many people have these conditions and autoimmune disorders that we just don't think about and so many people go untreated and undiagnosed for so long and that's when like things get really serious. With all that being said guys, thanks for listening to my sad but informational rant about how I'm doing. Um, my shit's pretty fucked up um, but it's only going to get better from here so thank you for the support, thanks for the love, I really appreciate it and be for sure keeping you updated stage is always going to be there. 
I know that when the time is right, I'll be able to go back and accomplish my dream of being on the Olympia stage. <laughs>